Wake Up Central works to keep you safe and sound. March is National Kidney Awareness Month, and our journey Taylor explains how one doctor throughout the year, but especially in March, leverages her own experience as a physician and a patient to encourage our Kansans to be aware of the signs and symptoms of the disease and the potential risk factors. I'm Dr. Yara Robertson. I'm Medical Director of Surgery at Cartai Cancer Center. I'm also a five-year renal cell carcinoma survivor, meaning I've had kidney cancer. It was a shock for Dr. Yara Robinson when she found herself on the other side of a cancer diagnosis. With the family history of collapsed lung, she prioritized staying healthy until one day she felt severe pain. So I have four cancerous tumors all on that kidney. She said she didn't know the signs of kidney cancer until she was diagnosed. I thought kidney cancer was a disease of older white men. I was very wrong. Of course, it's a disease of older patients. 64 years old is the average age, but it's actually more common in African-American males. People with high blood pressure, if you have obesity, of course, genetic mutations like myself are at increased risk and often it is asymptomatic. Dr. Robertson now has a gene mutation that actually puts her at risk for kidney cancer for the rest of her life for both kidneys. However, she has not had a recurrence, celebrating life now with a different perspective, while also putting a spotlight on awareness for all cancers. I always credit kidney cancer with being the best of the best thing and the worst thing that happened to me. If I hadn't had kidney cancer, I don't think I'd be back in Arkansas now. My priorities on what I felt was important with taking care of my breast cancer patients kind of switched and aligned to me coming back here to create um, a breast program for myself that really dealt with disparities and making sure that women were treated fairly, have equitable care, and just taking care of those people who are underserved. She says the C word doesn't have to be taboo and early detection is key. You want to go get tested, you want to go get treated early so that you don't have to die from cancer. It doesn't have to be a death sentence. And you know, Karen, hearing that diagnosis can change oh. a person's life in seconds. seconds, truly in seconds. Dr. Robertson says support is important. In fact, Cartai just launched their very own support system center. Oh, how neat. It's called everything The Bridge. Okay. And there they have information about support groups, wellness workshops, just everything you need at this time to give you a greater sense of control. Which is the one thing yes. you feel you don't have. Yes, absolutely. We are. We don't hear about kidney cancer, it seems. We do so many stories on breast cancer mm -hmm. and prostate cancer for men, uh, but kidney cancer is, is there. It's around. Yeah, absolutely. And she talked about that, how a lot of the research funding goes to yes. breast cancer, but we have a lot of cancers. So this yeah. is shocking for her, but also a good time to bring awareness. Well, it's nice of her to do that for others because it happened to her. Absolutely. She gets it. Thank yes. you, Journey.